let's take a look at the second base position. So just like in the shortstop video, what we want is the second baseman to kind of pinch or cheat towards second base about five feet off the middle line. Again, this allows the second baseman to get anything hit up the middle and then be successful in being able to throw out the player running to first. Also, if it's hit past the first baseman and the second baseman needs to come over and get the ball here, it's a short enough throw where they'll be able to get that and most of the time throw out the runner running to first in that situation. The responsibility area for the second baseman is just like the shortstop. It is a rather large area that the second baseman needs to make sure that they are able to cover. If there is a shallow ball hit, they need to make sure that they're able to come over here and get it and be able to throw to first. So this is the area for the second baseman. Now, the second baseman also includes not only going after the ball if it's within their area, but also covering either second base or possibly first base. Because if there is a ball hit in this area and the first baseman breaks to try to get that, the second baseman needs to come and make sure that they cover the base so that we have an opportunity to get the runner out. Now, if the ball is hit to the shortstop or the third baseman or even the pitcher, depending on what side of the field, if it's hit in this area, the second baseman needs to rotate over to make sure that they can cover second base from a throw from the pitcher, third base, or shortstop if it's on that side of the field. The second baseman's responsibility is to get the cutoff with the help of the shortstop. Shortstop will yell glove side to move to your left, hand side to move to your right in order to line you up. So if you're here, if the ball's hit there and the right fielder goes out to get it, we can see that this is our straight line. So the second baseman needs to get in about that area with the help of the shortstop in order to have a successful cutoff or relay. Now, if the ball is not hit to the right fielder, but hit to the center fielder, here or here or the left fielder, anywhere, the second baseman needs to rotate to second base and assist the shortstop into getting proper into proper position. Again, saying glove side to move to the left, hand side to move to the right. So if the ball is hit here, here's our straight line, left fielder or center fielder. It's kind of in the middle, depends whoever gets there first. The second baseman's job is to get the shortstop into position around here in order to have a successful relay or cutoff situation.